So let's see how to use QuickTime Player to make a movie. So you might use this if you want to demonstrate something to your students, you want to um, do a math problem or work through something in science, anything like that, and you actually want them to see you. Um, some teachers are using this to read chapters from novels or read a short picture book. So you could use it for that as well. So I'm going to you hit Command plus the space bar to bring up the search bar and I have QuickTime Player already in there. So if not, start QU and it'll start to show up. And go ahead and double click. QuickTime Player opens up. I can tell it's open because I see it right up here in my menu bar. I'm going to click File, New Movie Recording. And so you always wanna check your options down here. If I click the drop down arrow, it's using the FaceTime camera that's the camera on your Mac and that's totally fine. If you happen to have another um, video camera attachment that you want to use, you can use that. The internal microphone is fine. If you want to add one of your own, feel free and it will show up here and you'll have to select it. And I just leave the quality on high. So I'm just going to click off of that and there's no area to select. It's actually just going to um, do this entire screen. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording. And so what you want to do is maybe um, some suggestions is have kind of a, a simple background behind you. You don't want a bunch of busyness going on so that students are looking at what's behind you instead of looking at you. Um, you kind of want to make sure that your lighting is pretty good. Definitely want to do a short test movie to hear your sound volume and the quality. The farther away you are from your Mac, um, the, the less likely your students are to hear clearly. So you just want to check that out so that you know how loud you need to speak and things like that. So I could use this. I actually have a, see here, it's so gonna be a little clunky trying to get this in the screen. And so I have a piece of paper. I wish I had a dry erase board here at home, but I don't. So I might actually use this to demonstrate a math problem. So maybe I'm saying, okay, students, today we're going to look at something like 325 minus 72 and we're going to look at a math problem like this. And so then I could actually set it up and it would take a little practice. Um, now I think you can see me doing that and I could say I'm going to start here in the ones column. I have five, I'm going to subtract two. What would be five take away two? And so we could work this math problem together pretty easily. Um, I could actually work through the steps and show them. Um, you could if you have room in your house or, or whatever. Um, let's go back here. And maybe I had a, a bigger dry erase board back here. I'd probably want my Mac a lot closer than that. So if I had something large, uh, maybe your, your own kids have a dry erase board or a chalkboard and you could do a math problem up here. You had a big sheet of paper. However you want to do that, that's also an option. You see I'm just kind of moving around to make sure I am in my video screen. Okay, I'm going to come a little closer again. And so maybe I'm using this just to talk to them. Um, this could be a way too that I'm sitting back in a comfy chair and I'm reading a chapter of a novel. So lots of uses. That's um, the movie recording feature of QuickTime if you want the kids to see you doing something. I could be demonstrating something in science right here on the kitchen table and you just need to adjust your screen um, to where you need it to capture what it is you want to capture. Okay, so when I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and click this record button. I'm going to go ahead and play that and make sure I like the sound quality. Um, if I do and everything seems fine, I'm going to go ahead and save that. What I would suggest to you is don't worry about making mistakes, don't worry about fumbling around. Um, your kids, you know, are used to you and your teaching style. They're that's going to make you seem human. We're not up for Academy Awards doing this, so um, I would not worry about that type of thing. And so we're going to click that red ball. Remember, it seems like we're going to close and delete this file, but we're not. We're actually going to get the option to rename it and save it where we want. So I'm going to say um, QuickTime, and this one is um, Movie. I'm going to save it in my drive because that's where it needs to be in um, eventually anyhow and go ahead and save. And remember you can see right up there right now it is pulsating 
it is trying to save it's going to save to my drive um, on my computer so that's what i would see if i went to finder my drive and then it's actually backing up to the cloud which is what i really need to do to be able to pull it into google classroom it does need to go into google drive on the web to be pulled into google classroom and that's exactly what's happening right now so, so if i look up there i can see there's my quicktime movie and it's getting ready to upload now it's not instantaneous but it doesn't take terribly long um, it just depends on how long your video is and remember we want to kind of keep them short clips but it, it's going to process in um, back up to google drive on the web that's what's happening right now when it's pulsating so i went to google chrome and you can access google drive over here and if I look for that video, and it needs to have been uploaded all the way, so I'm gonna actually show you this one, which is one I already did um, about 15 minutes ago. If I double click on that, it has uploaded, so it's already done this process, but now it's processing in Google. You are going to get this, and just keep checking back Till eventually the video will open here and you'll be able to play it and all will be well and you'll be ready then to put it into Google Classroom. But we have to wait for this part to happen. So that's how you'd use QuickTime to make a movie of you demonstrating something, um, completing something, using a model, solving a math problem, or reading a book.